Hey, let's do a quick one. When I'm bored and have no idea what to do, I usually start to mess around with feedback loops, because feedback is fun. And while some techniques are quite dull, like adding a composite with some transparency to get a cheap motion blur effect, others might actually surprise you. Like, what about recursive layouts? Add a circle, increase the resolution, connect it to feedback. Now add a layout top, connect the circle again, switch the alignment to top to bottom. Now duplicate the layout. Let's add another layout and connect both layouts we had. Select all three of them and switch the fit to fill. We've got four circles. Now add a null here and drag it onto the feedback. That's a tree of circles. You can also select the second layout and change it to bottom to top. Cool! You can duplicate the circle and connect it to the second layout, change it to polygon, and that's how you combine two shapes. It's already fun to play with, but let's add even more fun. Connect the first circle back, get rid of the triangle, insert a null here, delete the circle, add a GLSL top. We can now use the same old trick to get a UV map, increase resolution, disable interpolation and set the pixel format to 32-bit float. Add a noise. Copy GLSL top resolution and paste it as a reference to our noise. Now you can add a remap top and connect the UV map to its second input. We can also add a ramp, connect it to the second input of the noise and change the type to circular. Go to resolution and paste reference again. Go to face and do the apps time dot seconds multiply by 0.2 and it's moving. We can add a lookup with a ramp to add some colors and blur the resulting UV map to get these acid patterns. That's a basic setup. Try out different layout settings. You can add even more layouts or combine more images. Just play with it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon if you want more short tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.